How's it going guys? JP here and welcome to week number 21 here on Body Bags. The film that I'm going to be reviewing today is The Craft from the year 1996 with the tagline of Welcome to the Witching Hour. Now, I got it in this double pack here which uh, is actually a pretty solid double pack. I've seen this at like Dollar General um, for you know $5 or so. Got the woods in it, um, both on separate discs and uh, you know, it's kind of witch themed, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, anyway, let's get into the film. Um, the Craft, it follows a girl by the name of Sarah as she moves to a new school somewhere in California. Now, Sarah has these, uh, this backstory where she tried to commit suicide and, you know, dealing with the death, death of her mother and stuff and not really ever fitting in where, she, you know, the previous places that she's been. Uh, she gets to this new high school. She has, you know, it's kind of like a private high school. Uh, they have to wear uniforms and stuff. She, you know, kind of crushes on the jock character a little bit. Um, they go out on a date. Basically, he's a jerk uh, and says that they, you know, hooked up and stuff and tells the whole school that she sucked at it. You know, lousiest lay he's ever had. And, you know, that really bums her out and stuff. So she kind of gravitates towards these uh, three other girls who are kind of the outcasts of the school. Um, they also are aspiring witches. They kind of have this little coven and they need a fourth. They need a fourth corner. Um, they see potential in Sarah. They see that she might be a natural witch because Sarah can do things that you know normal people can't do. She balances a pencil on her desk using just her thoughts. Um, and, uh, you know, while most, most witches have to, you know, learn how to become, um, you know, practice and study witchcraft, Sarah has these natural abilities, so they assume that she's a natural witch. They kind of bring her in. They all are, you know, very uh, friend, friendly with each other. They're, they're having fun. It's a, it's a solid group of, uh, you know, friends, four of them. Um, and they're, you know, learning uh, witchcraft and, and doing these... Uh, you know, chants and spells and experiments and stuff, um, and they're getting stronger and stronger, and basically the group kind of splinters a bit. You have Sarah, who is, you know, more good-hearted, and then you have the other three, especially the leader of the group, which is, uh, the, she's in a lot of films. Her name's like Faruza or Fabruza or something. Uh, she is, uh, you know, has this very, um, certain quality to her. She's she's a very mean looking person. She she has these facial expressions that are kind of, you know, scary almost. Um so she was perfect as the kind of the the villain witch, uh the rival witch. Um so basically Sarah uh, you know tells them like, "Hey, we're doing, you know, more, we're doing a lot of harm here. You know, maybe we need to calm down a bit." They of course um kind of ostracize her from the group and stuff and then kind of uh you know, basically try to kill her. Um, so that that's basically the story. Um, each character has their own uh, thing that they hate about themselves or, or hate, uh, you know, problem that they're dealing with. Um, you know, uh, the main villain witch is, you know, white trash, poor, um, has a terrible home life. Uh, the other uh, girl has, uh, Neve Campbell, has uh, scars all over um, and feels like she's ugly. Um, and then the, the other one has, you know, is dealing with racist issues. Um, so, uh, basically, um, as they get stronger and stuff, they, they start doing more spells, but they find out that, um, the, the rule of three, everything you do comes back times three, you know, do unto others what you would do unto yourself or however that saying goes. Um, and they are basically, you know, um, abusing the power um so yeah um this film is right in that scream era where it's a 90s teen horror film it feels very geared towards uh you know the female sex um it, it definitely has that quality where it feels like this was made for you know teenage girls and um it pro probably was but for some reason i still really really enjoy that angle about it and i, I can watch it as you know a male viewer and and still really appreciate it uh, because it's, it's really fun it's it's a fun movie it's kind of fun you know watching these girls um this you know the the, the 90s had a very specific uh, view of the teenage friendship angle and the teenage group of friends um, probably very exaggerated 
Um, but it still is very fun to watch. It, it, it's cool. It's kind of cool. You know, it's, it's like, you kind of, you know, wish that real life was like that where, where, um, you have this group of friends and you, you are getting into some crazy stuff and, and, uh, it's all very, very, very friendshipy. Um, and it looks like they're just having a blast and it was before, you know, cell phones and, and, uh, you know, social networking was such a huge deal where you actually went to your friend's house and, you know, sat you know sat around and and you know entertained each other with you know actual thoughts like they play the light as light light as a feather stiff as a board game i remember that shit going on when i was you know a, a little kid and i was hanging out with my aunt who had friends and they were doing that stuff and, and it was really kind of nostalgic looking back on it um so yeah the craft I, it's really it's really cool um it does get a little bit cheesy uh, at certain times. Um, also, the some of the effects, like the scarring on Neve Campbell, uh, it's kind of uh, it, it kind of looked pretty bad. Um, some of the digital effects they use actually works pretty well. Um, other, you know, some CGI and stuff, early '90s or mid '90s CGI. Um, yeah, you know, there's always going to be a little annoyance with that, but I would probably say that, you know, the whole teen scream era, um, you know, mid nineties, you know, nineties in general time where the, where, where, uh, the friendships were, it, you know, it, it's both a positive and a negative because sometimes it just feels like a little too much. Other times it's cool to see, it's cool to look at, like it, it's, it's fun. Um, so it's, it's, you know, it, that angle both hurts horror films from the 90s and helps them in in its own way it's kind of uh you know somewhere in between uh this one kind of falls uh because certain parts it's a little too much um so yeah i mean the craft it's cool it, it's it's a fun movie it, and that, that's basically what it is it's pretty good too you know i like the characters and um you know i, I actually like all four girls you know neve campbell's really cool in my book um and then the F Faruza or whatever her name is, she's just scary. Um, and then the the girl who played uh, the main the main witch, uh, I, I like her too. So um, all four girls I liked. And uh, yeah, what, what else can I say about the craft? I'm dragging this on way too long. The craft, I give it a seven point. I just give it a seven out of ten. You know, it, it, it's it's pretty solid. I, I recommend seeing it if you never have. It's uh, cool nineties ness. Peace out, guys. See you next week.